Hello, so we're just going to take a quick look today at the texture process in Blender and there's a couple of few things you need to know um, just so that you don't get a little bit confused because it doesn't sometimes it doesn't quite work as, as you expect but you just need to know a couple of things so first of all what we need to do in order to texture this is to lay it out flat um, in the UV editor so what we're going to do is just split the window across here oh, let's turn on the screencast displays go um, and we're going to change this window into the UV image editor <clears throat> now by default you'll get this uh, result here this is the render result so we just need to clear out the data block by clicking the little X there and we are good to go now to unwrap this there are a couple of ways that we could do it let's tab into edit mode and we are going to if you press U in order to unwrap you've got a lot of these options here so if you wanted to do a quick unwrap you could do a smart UV project or or something like that to uh, to get some kind of result there what I'm gonna do is just mark a few seams so you know in order to define how it's going to unwrap so press the control tab into edge select mode here and I'm just going to choose these three edges and do it from wireframe mode I can select the other three on the other side so you can see how that's kind of uh, looking like that and then we press control E and mark the seam and this should give us a sort of T layout so we have to actually just unwrap again I can actually just press E in the uh, image editor to unwrap or you can press U and choose the unwrap just like that uh, so let's add an image to this so I'm going to add a new image here and I'm going to make it a color so that we can see kind of what's going on so make it a blue color here and click the OK great so we've got our image here if I go back out of edit mode uh, into object mode if I press uh, alt Z you can see our blue image applied here and this is because we're using the multi texture shading mode here uh, in the N properties panel. Now, uh, if you are in um, the solid view here, we can change between the solid view and the textured view um, on the bottom of the, on the 3D view header here. In uh, textured mode, you'll get the effect of the lamps. So, if I was to duplicate this lamp shift D, you can see how we can see on the other side of that, like that. Just delete that extra lamp. Uh, whereas if you are if you choose this textured solid view you can see the result without the shading in the 3d view um, just because this shows face assigned textures in solid view I will get on to face assigned textures um, in just a moment but what I'd like to show you now is if I press F12 to render this we don't have any color here now that's because face assigned textures by default don't render okay we haven't even got a material on this so it, it was it was never it was never going to work and the point is that if we go into texture paint mode here and using our face assigned textures we could paint um, in whatever color we want we can paint on our object and you'll see how um, the, 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 the paint gets applied to our image here and then once again that's because our our image here has been assigned by the faces back into object mode if I make a new image now and let's make this um, maybe a ready color I'll we'll go OK we can see we've got our image here and we'll go back into texture paint mode and well we've still got this uh, this blue this blue texture now um, uh, so I mean well what could we do we try and change it here maybe okay that works but it's not showing up here and so this can be a little bit confusing the way this works is in edit mode the uh, the, the the face which is which is selected here and when you choose an image in the image editor the image then gets applied to that face so for example if I was to select these two faces here and choose our red image now these two faces have this red image applied in texture paint mode I can now paint uh, the green onto our red image here and I can also paint on the blue image which obviously doesn't show here but if I was to switch over to the blue you can see that once again working so and once again we'll see that this doesn't render so this is face assigned textures if I was to just demonstrate that a little bit further if I just pull in um, from the other desktop here an image of this giraffe guy 
if I go to edit mode and deselect everything you should see that if I try and select my giraffe he won't show and um, indeed it'll be the case for any any image because I haven't got any faces selected in the uh, in the image editor here and um, <clears throat> excuse me in this in the 3d view and that's because blender is trying trying to assign uh, an image to the face and you're selecting an image and you haven't you haven't got a face to assign it to that's basically how it's working so with this um, face selected I can now choose my giraffe guy here and up it comes I can select everything G grab and maybe just scale up our UV and uh, and there we have it in the 3d view so how do we get this stuff to render and what it's what is it all about really well let's add a material to our object now and what we're going to do is switch into GLSL shading mode now if we go into textured, textured view and what we'll do is we'll just turn this lamp uh, right click the lamp we'll turn it into a hemi lamp so we don't get any shadows and we can see um, kind of uh, we can just see the object basically so GLSL shading will show you what textures are applied in the texture buttons here so let's go ahead and we'll we'll, uh, we'll select the textures here go uh, new and we'll choose image or movie and we can open up say our um, let's make a new let's make a let's make a new image so we'll go new image and we're just going to make this a 50% gray um, in here so I can type 0.5 Point five in there. I can Control C, Control V, Control V, and um, just get our fifty percent grey here. We'll call this grey. And what we do then is we can just choose our grey here. We'll choose UV for our coordinates, and let's just um, select everything in here. Go U and unwrap once again, so we get a decent uh, UV layout. And we'll go. We're still in textured mode here. So in fact what's showing in the 3D view is this texture because GLSL um, looks at the textures that are in the texture buttons rather than face assigned textures. Because we've got still got textured solid on, if we tab, um, um, sorry, just if we <laughs> Alt Z and go back into um, uh, solid shading view because we've got textured solid on, we can see, we can, we can, we can, we can see those back into texture paint mode we need to know about this um, because you might be um, thinking okay well we've got this um, selected in here and this is what we're going to paint on we'll go into um, textured mode here we've got the GLSL on and we want to try and start painting on our uh, on our image and it's not working it's painting over here it's painting on the giraffe guy well why is that it's because once again it's to do with the face assigned textures so what we need to do select everything in here and choose our grey and now when we go back into texture paint mode we can see that we're painting um, on that just like that I want to show you another interesting thing here because we've got um, this 50% grey on here what I can do is just uncheck the colour and check normal here and we'll just make it nice and obvious and we'll turn this on to best quality yep no, that's fine and what you'll see is uh, in in our regular shading mode um, of course it looks grey because we've got the face assigned textures if I was just to paint a black here um, you'll see the colour sh um, show up whereas in solid view it'll be um, it's taking notice of the uh, sorry in textured view it's taking notice of the, just using the GLSL shading and that can actually display us the normals here alright so if you're painting black it'll appear to be um, going inside the surface if we change this to a white um, it'll appear to kind of like pop out um, so that's pretty useful sort of thing to know there uh, so that's basically what I wanted to show you the difference between the multi texture and, um, and GLSL there um, and what how it might be confusing and how to assign your different images to the to the faces in order to texture paint them um, and also to get them to render remember you need to apply them as a texture in here so I'll just do one example once again of that we'll go um, we've already got our unwrap here 
we'll choose our giraffe guy and let's say that we wanted him to be on where is it let's choose this face here so we've got this face and we're just going to scale this one UV all the way up um, maybe scale Y so we fit him kind of in there whatever doesn't matter and what I'm going to do now is press control I to invert the selection and I want to move these UVs off the map entirely now when we can we can assign this now as an image or movie and we'll choose our giraffe and if we do the UV here and what I want to do is change the image mapping from repeat so this uh, by default this image would be repeated um, infinitely and would also cover these UVs here so if we change this to clip what we'll see is uh, even though we're in GLSL mode and supposedly this shows us what's going on in here there are some options over here that the GLSL doesn't use so it won't use for example the um, the size and the offset values here but what we should see when we render this is that this face um, contains the the giraffe guy and the rest of it because the UVs are off the map and this is set to clip um, fingers crossed this shows us just the um, just the giraffe guy on this one face all right so I had the wrong face but I mean there, there you see um, how that is working hopefully that hasn't confused you too much um, face assigned textures take just take a little bit of use uh, getting used to and it's just something you need to be aware of uh, in order to to use them properly and not get confused when things don't render or you can't paint um, when you expect to be able to paint in the in the texture paint um, or you're not painting on the right image um, you expect to be painting on you know when when you've got one opener over here uh, okay that's all uh, have a play with it have fun happy blending